So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend. He's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the Kings. martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Marvin, the Italian dream, Vittori! Herb Dean, third Great man fight. in the octagon Ready. tonight. Do it. Well, I don't know if blockhead is a negative term, but I feel like if I punched Marvin Vittori, I would probably break my hand. So hopefully that registers as a compliment for the Italian dream who said at the forefront of our fighter meeting, my cardiovascular base is gonna be the difference in this fight here tonight. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Just out of range with that right hook. and it's blocked. I mean, how about this blockhead, right? The Italian <laughs> dream, Marvin Vittori. You know he wants the clinch, yep. and with relative ease, he gets it here. Right now. He wants to wear you down. He's big for the weight class. He's mean. And I mean, even that, Marvin Vittori's gonna be mad at you. Right. Because we call him a blockhead <laughs> when he's as blockhead as they come. But this guy is a dominant force when he can get his weight on you, when he can try to manipulate you from that clinch position. Well, he's got his back now. Vittori gets back up. Fast pace here in the early going. Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. 
closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Vittori. All right, so as advertised thus far, as these fighters continue to trade strikes. Unable to connect with the right hook. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Ooh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. Lead kick is true there by Vittori. He's got him in the clinch once again. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking the shot. He's giving him so many different things right now. Big left hand there inside. as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. you got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. And not back off and kick him to the time. He's right for the picket. Where the picket through? <laughs> oh, nice transition there. You call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. Now inside the... Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get sunk. but much better than getting his arm snapped in half from an arm ball. Fighter trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. That was a slick transition. My crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the field. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. Marvin Vittori going for the takedown. He misses. Back and forth we go. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking from his cut. Easier said than done. Round two is next. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Big power shot there. 
All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic. Oh, you heard him again, bro. Submission defense wins this transition. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangles. Oh, right into Mount. Beautiful transition. Making all these shots count. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys going out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the stick. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. The Tories back in full mount. He goes back to the well and lands another strike from the top, and now you can see the swell. <laughs> Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Goes to the body there. There's another one. And there it is again. Targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You build out all this damage. Might as, go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not going to move his head. He's still trying to go out on the Great block there. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. Looking for the guillotine lock right now, and it looks like it's in. He's done a great job of securing Somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Let's go. Get out first for me. He seems to have timed that counter pretty well. But Tori's definitely taking aim at that cut right now. You see, targeting that. Oh, no. What a fight! Twenty seconds to go, round two. Just misses with a left hook there. Seconds winding down in round two. Vittori's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Oh, found the target there with a straight right counter. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, that'll do it for round two. Vittori's corner is visibly concerned about that nose, and rightfully so. Perhaps it was broken in that last round. Gotta figure it's gonna be hard to breathe the rest of the way.
All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's gonna have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse... Oh, he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Just misses with the left hook. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, nice jab, nice stick. Oh, you. Back and forth we go. Back to the feet now. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of it. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing, and by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised, but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys want to win. The cut men on both sides have done an outstanding job. All right, so the referee, yes, is going to step in here. He will call on the doctor to look at that nose that is unrecognizable at this stage of the fight. His nose is broken. Yeah. I mean, it's turned sideways. The blood's pouring, going down into his mouth. It looks like he's having a very difficult time breathing. Well, it looks as though the fight is going to continue. The referee checking on the athlete one more time. A bit surprising. I didn't know if they would let this guy continue, but here we go. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Absolutely, and I'm just as excited myself. I want to see these guys compete. I want to see who wins. I don't want it to stop because of a cut. I want to see the best fight. Oh! I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on SportsCenter tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 25 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Marvin, the Italian dream, the Torrey. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.